So, uh, I see you're wearing coral again. It's one of my favorite colors. I just have a lot of workout stuff in it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so now we're going to uh, go go for it again, right? Yep. But And it's only like five degrees warmer today than it was yesterday, is that right? Well, let's see what the temperature is. Yeah, I think that's correct. 90 degrees right now. Currently 90 degrees. And yesterday it was 89? Yeah. Oh. Well, lucky us. You ready? I am. Let's give it a shot. Yeah, you got your specs? Yeah, and I gotta put my phone in my phone pocket. Oh, now you know what it is. It's a different pair. Different pair of the same pants? Different, yeah, it's a different pair. It's same brand, but different pair. Okay, well. See the little side pocket? I can't really see, but. But this time yeah. it's got a little strap to hold the phone so it won't oh. sneak up. Got and it. I can even attach it. Oh, well, geez. Ready? I am. All let's right, go. let's go. What's that? That's how it works. Oh, lovely. You didn't have to kick anybody's butt today. No. Remember no. that time where that guy was really, he kept pushing your buttons and pushing your buttons and pushing your buttons and threatening and acting like he's going to get a lawsuit and he's going to kick your ass. And then you finally had enough and you stood up to him and then he cowered. You mean the guy walked out to onto the street? There's a YouTube yeah. video of it too. Oh, is there really? Yeah. I thought but I was didn't gonna... he like sit down on the curb and like cry or something like that? Oh no, he didn't cry. He oh. he just uh walked uh with me. Yeah. Out onto the street mm -hmm. in close range. Mm -hmm. And uh I said, Hey man, in a nice way. Yeah. You better not move. They're not coming on this property. Yeah. And he said I was unpatriotic. And that really pissed me off. Oh my gosh. Why? Yeah. Why would you be unpatriotic? For enforcing the law, apparently. Oh, man. Yeah, I don't know. The guy was a complete D-bag. Yeah. And, uh, He's the mail carrier. I Facebook stalked him, and he had like one friend, and it was himself. <laughs> <laughs> That's the male Karen. Yeah. The, I want to speak to your manager. He just didn't realize you were the manager. Right. Yeah. You were the boss. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty, it was pretty funny. But he was filming it the whole time. That's why it's on YouTube. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Now I remember. Yeah, he was a disaster in his own mind. Yeah. But he thought he was cool. Anyway, so let's go. You have no idea why you're getting vertigo? I have no idea. But you have a doctor's appointment, don't I you? I do. I do. Yeah. It's so funny because when you film me when we're talking, I have to laugh because I look at the videos and I'm just chatty, Kathy, like you can't even hear me and I'm just blabbing away. <laughs> you must be laughing at me the whole time. Yeah. You walk fast. I do. I have long yeah. legs. Yeah. So then you always are ahead of me. Yeah. And but then can... I'm trying not to film the back of you the whole time. <laughs> but then it's hard for me to like go on a hike yeah. and then film you. See? But you can tell that I'm... It's not like you're slowing down. No. You can tell that I'm around animals all day because they don't have anybody to talk to. And I just word vomit the minute you get home. Yeah, you're like one of those deprived wives. Like <laughs> back in the 70s that was watching like all my children and right. the days of our lives. Right. and. The husband comes home after a hard day's work and <laughs> wants to just relax and not talk. Right. And then the wife is blah, 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 like the whole Charlie Brown deal. It's funny because I, wa I watched the first video that you took and I, we're in the woods and I'm just blabbing. There's no way you could hear one thing I'm saying and you're just going, yeah, uh-huh. And then what? And I'm just blabbing away. <laughs> Do you even know what I'm talking about most of the time? Fifty percent, <laughs> which is typical for men. I thought it was hilarious. But you see, girls think we're, girls think we're stupid, but really it's just because we don't listen. You know, but yeah, I was cracking up. That was funny. What was 9/11 like for you guys at work? Somber. Yeah. How about you? Where were you at? So I had woken up that morning to get ready to go work out. 
because I was a personal trainer at that time. So I was up super early. And one of my, somebody that I took a, uh, a CPR class with, um, he, do you remember AIM, AOL, the, the AIM messages, AIM, or whatever they were? Uh, Instant messaging. Yeah. On AOL. Anyways, he sends me one of those and he said, and he was in New York. And he said, did you guys hear about the plane? I mean, has it reached the news where you are? And, you know, it was like six something in the morning. And I said, well, I haven't even turned on my TV. And he goes, well, turn it on and tell me if, if you hear anything. So I turned it on and there wasn't, you know, there wasn't even news at that time of the morning. And then um, seven o'clock our time rolls around and all of a sudden there's the news and then it goes straight into the national news. So I was watching it and I was just blown away. And so my friend in New York, he said that he heard that it was a small little plane and the guy was committing suicide and blah, blah, blah. And so I'm, you know, I like want to know what's going on I mean who who would do this and why did he want to commit suicide and all this kind of stuff well then obviously it was far different and so my clients at the gym had canceled and so I still had to go to the salon at 11 30 so I watched the coverage all the way up until I had to leave but what was interesting to me was that um, I watched the second tower get hit live and at first I thought they were just playing a replay like oh that's cool somebody got the footage and then then I realized wait a minute there's the other towers already been hit and like oh my gosh it just got hit again so it was really odd right so um I did have my clients at my salon cancel except for one so I went in to do her hair and right next to where I, the salon that I worked at is a bar. And always during the day, the bar has all these pull tabs and all this kind of stuff going on. It's super loud, really loud music, all of that. And a lot of us girls at the salon would get lunch, you know? We'd order our lunch from there because they had pretty good food. And so while my client was processing, I mean, the, the whole salon is just, you know, we've got the TV on and we're watching, everybody's watching, nobody's talking. We're all just watching the TV coverage. And, um, and you know, we watched the people jump out of the building. And I, I mean, just they kept replaying that stuff. And it's just really just, I mean, you're kind of a zombie at that point. But anyway, I, I ordered lunch at the bar and I went over to the bar. Now this is a sports bar, so it's got a gazillion TVs in it, right? And they're all on the same channel and you walk in, the whole bar is crowded. It's like every seat is filled. There's no, you know, pull tabs, there's no anything. People are just silent as they're watching the screen, like not one word, nobody's talking, nobody, I mean, so the waitress who was getting my order, she was kind of whispering to me, you know, like, are you here for your salad, you know, that kind of thing, it was just so, so, so eerie, I mean, it was just like those, I mean, you just kind of get like a zombie, I mean, that's how I felt that day, because you just don't know and you know the news was reporting a gazillion different things and it kept changing from one minute to the next and and then towards the end of the day the same person who was the one who aimed you know instant messaged me on AOL he said uh, do you remember so and so from our our uh, CPR class because we were for it was a CPR class for personal trainers and I said yeah and he said he teaches or he has clients in one of the towers and it's on the top floor and so far nobody's heard from him 
so like that was the end of my day and they you know have training sessions with these wall street people and it's like really super good money easy work you you know all you have to have is like a set of bands and some free weights and you know so it's easily transported and all that so it was just my day came full circle it started with him and then came back to him but and so he was my friend that was in the twin towers they weren't able to find any of his remains so we don't know even know if he died or if he was there or he's not I, listed as dead i don't know we're missing yeah i don't know i don't see i don't know him well enough to right really know and my friend didn't know so and in the years since i've kind of lost touch with that friend so my i think i just been going under the assumption that he probably was just one of the people that was never identified you know and i did have a client at the salon and that is her job is that she goes to these big catastrophes and she helps identify bodies and so what we didn't know at the time was that there were tons of other buildings that collapsed the um twin towers weren't the only buildings oh right that collapsed and so they had to she was there for like almost a year identifying people so i mean it's a really a really tedious hard job to do forensics yeah forensics oh, okay are you okay yeah it's hard huh it's hard to take a hike and try to hold this thing and well it's hard to talk when you're going to talk. yeah yeah okay we're almost to the top happy. good gracious yeah. She's on TikTok, right. and she's making pink sauce. Yeah, she. Uh, I think she did a live, right? Yeah. And so she's uh, she's doing uh, making this pink sauce, and she's distributing in real life. It, huh? Yeah, in real life. So it's not a TV show. No, it's, it's like not actual a TV real show. TikTok. It's a real thing. So, but it's TikTok drama. It's the it's the it drama right now on TikTok. But anyway, so Wait, she. Hold on, honey. Mm -hmm. We should go up this summit. What? Right now? Yeah. Okay. Anyway, so she's so she's creating real drama on TikTok with no, her pink. No, she's not. I said oh. there's just a massive amount of drama surrounding her because she created this sauce, this dipping sauce, this magic sauce, and it's pink in color, right? Mm -hmm. And it's supposed to be, you know, good with your burgers, French fries, whatever. And so she's marketing and selling it herself. And but the math wasn't mathing, right? So like her ingredients, her listed ingredients, first of all, were all misspelled. So then of course, all the Karens and the Kyles in the comment section and the mini detective figured out that she didn't have like FDA approval for this because So all the women detectives that are men and women. Oh, okay. Trust me. But anyway, so people are figuring out that none of the ingredients add up to this pink sauce. Not only that, they're all misspelled. They, uh, and there's milk is listed as one of the ingredients. Yeah. But she doesn't refrigerate Here, honey, it. tower. Yeah. That's oh, the yeah. summit. You got to hit the tower to mark the summit. Okay. <sighs> what does that say? Huh. Oyster. Oh, does it? I don't know. It does say that, I think. It says oyster? Yeah. Yeah. I Wait, hold, hold on. You've been chatty Kathy, so let's, so <laughs> with the, uh, we don't want to bore everybody. So what happened with the pink sauce? So she, well, it's a long story. Oh. I have to be chatty Kathy. Uh, yeah, but let anyway, me Anyway, go ahead. Let me say this. So she, she markets it people start questioning her because all the ingredients are misspelled right yeah. so she's having this 
live on TikTok and she's trying to explain to everybody. And they're saying in her comments that it must not be FDA approved because, you know, the ingredients and all that kind of stuff. And she gets pissed off and says the FDA has nothing to do with food. And so she doesn't understand what the FDA is. So she doesn't now know the first it's word, obvious huh? that it's not FDA approved, right? And people are buying it and trying to figure out if it's rotten. And some people are making claims that they got sick. And someone claimed that they died. That someone they knew had the pink sauce and died from it. And that turned out to be a hoax. But, it, yeah. <laughs> but everybody's just like all a tizzy about this because this pink sauce isn't FDA approved and so then there was this guy who is kind of a chef Did you know it. you can eat Miracle Whip a year after it's expired? Ooh, gross. Anyway, but it, it, it gets a little jelly. Right. I tried some the other day. Is it made with milk? I don't know. Uh -huh. But anyway, so she, this, this guy who's kind of a chef on there, he decides to go by her ingredients and her descriptions, he's paid very close attention and he made this pink sauce, right? Yeah. And it was a watery, drippy mess. Not at all the thick consistency like, you know, it comes out of the bottle. So he added mayonnaise, like a cup of mayonnaise to the bottle that he created and wouldn't you know it, the consistency's there, the color is there, the taste is there, everything is absolutely perfect. But she doesn't list mayonnaise as one of the ingredients. So people are all like, it's just a frickin' dipping sauce, and yet it has taken TikTok by storm. It's What's hilarious. the name of the TikTok? Well, Pink I sauce? That's the name of the sauce, pink oh. sauce. So if you looked up pink sauce on TikTok, you'd probably Absolutely. find it. You could look up pink sauce on Google and it's going to bring all this shit up. I, <laughs> I promise you. <laughs> all right, how many steps you got? Oh, hardly any. 11,000. Oh, I got 9,900. Yeah. Okay, well, those are some really long stories. <laughs> All right, so we're kind of doing the normal routine, so we'll 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 maybe say bye for today, huh, honey? Hot, yeah. Okay, yeah, ninety-two. Yeah, I think it's something, something like that. So, yeah, we'll have to see if you have some other color other than coral and white, right? I'll see what I can come up with. Oh, okay. We'll see you tomorrow. Keep your knees bent, man. I am.